What is the direction of the resultant of the two vectors A and B if A equals 8 units to the north and B equals 4.5 units east? So here we're going to draw vector A in red. So this is vector A, which is a value of 8 units. And then we're going to draw a vector B, which is 4.5 units east. If we use the tail of the tip method and draw the two being added together, we would show A and B being added together. And give us that. So A plus B. And then that would give a resultant of C. Now, we've answered the question before, what is the magnitude of C? But now we have to answer the question of what is the direction of C with respect to our x-axis. So this is the x-axis here. And we draw the vertical y-axis there. We want to find the angle it makes with the x-axis. So this angle here. If you use uh, geometry properties, we would know that this angle here is equal to the angle here. Or you could find the angle between C and A and then do 90 degrees minus that angle, which would give you the remainder here, which would give you theta, which is what we're trying to solve for. So you can do it one of those two ways. I'm going to apply the geometry property in the first method here. So now the uh, question is, what is this theta? So we know that the tan of theta is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. So tan of theta gives us A over B. And then if we solve for theta, we take the inverse tan, get theta is equal to tan inverse of A over B. If we now plug in the values for A and B, we would find that theta is equal to tan inverse of 8 units over 4.5 units. And if we took the tan inverse of that, we would find that theta is equal to 60 degrees, which is this value here. Now, this, this was method one, applying the geometric properties of these two angles are the same. If we now did it the part wise and solved for the angle instead of being there, we instead solved for theta being this angle here between vector A and C, that would be method 2. So if we did do that, we would have the tan of theta is equal to the opposite over the adjacent. So that would give us B over A. So vector B over vector A would be the tan of theta for this angle here. If we took the inverse tangent on both sides, we would get theta is equal to the tan inverse of vector b over vector a. And if we now plugged in values, theta is equal to the tan inverse of 4.5 units over 8 units, which would give us a value of 
roughly 30 degrees. Now, knowing this angle of 30 degrees here, we need to know the angle that the resultant makes with the x-axis. So if we know that the y and x-axis are perpendicular to one another, and if a is along, is, is either along or parallel to the y-axis, so we know that it is also perpendicular to the x-axis. So if this angle between A and C is 30 degrees, then the difference between the 30 degrees and this angle of 90 degrees would give us the angle between C and the x-axis. So if we did that, it would be 90 degrees, which is the right angle, minus the 30 degrees would give us 60 degrees. So from this, we have concluded from two different methods that the angle of the resultant vector is 60 degrees with respect to the x-axis. So that's our answer. We make an angle of 60 degrees with respect to the x-axis.